Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy, and I'm just going to do you a quick build update on my 172 Tamiya Kawasaki KI61 ID Hein, or the American code name Tony. I started building this one a couple of days ago as part of a project I'm doing called uh, Land of the Rising Sun Week where I'm trying to build 10 models over 10 Japanese models over 10 days. Uh, this is a modern Tamiya kit, obviously. I think this one was produced in 2017, I think. And it's a really nice kit. I mean, compared to some of the other vintage Tamiyas and other kits that I've done previously, this one went together like a dream. Really nicely engineered. And I really did have quite a bit of fun putting it together. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to focus on Japanese kits as a novice as because a lot of um, Japanese aircraft, it seems to me, either come one colour silver, like this one, or some of them are one colour white, or you basically get one colour on the bottom and one colour on the top. You rarely get any sort of camouflage going on. So it just makes them a little bit easier for a novice like myself if you've only got to juggle a couple of, couple, a couple of painting options in. So as you can see, I've painted this one up as per the box art. We're not finished yet by a long stretch, but we're at a stage where I thought, well, we'll have a look. Um, there are a couple of problems with it, one which is glaringly obvious, obvious here, but we'll run through it first. Now, the one thing that I really liked about this was the setup of the cockpit, which you can see quite well, because we've only got half a cockpit cover, which I'll explain later. Um, the actual... In the actual interior of the cockpit though was a big section or a small section that sort of you built up as its own little separate unit and then it just slotted in and that was a really cool interesting and novel way of doing it I thought and I quite appreciated it and I quite I, I spent a couple of hours which is unusual for me with cockpits and I did attempt to do all the uh the dials in uh pick them out in white and I've got about I've got about four or five or six different colors going on in here so I gave it my best shot, but as a novice, obviously, I'm learning this uh, this model in malarkey. So, yeah, here we go. So, the glaring obvious problem we've got with this one is the uh, cockpit cover, which I used my Humbrol Mascol for the first time on this um, kit. And when I was attempting to, well, I actually glued the um, the cockpit in place with PVA glue. And when I removed it and was trying to fumble off the mask hole, this uh, cockpit cover is really, 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 really thin. And I didn't realise quite how fragile it was. And my, my dumb hands decided to squeeze it in the wrong way and it just broke in half. Uh, luckily, it's quite a clean break. So we are going to put the other piece on. Uh, obviously, I do need to paint up the um, strips on the um, cockpit cover. But I couldn't, I couldn't really guarantee that I wasn't going to break it again if I just tried to glue it back together. So I figured the best way to do is just to fix it in place shortly and then have a go at painting the uh, details on it later. Um, a few other nice little features on this were just basically the, just the general assembly of it was just really, really nice compared to some of the kits. Uh, this little tail wheel, that was like a whole little tiny unit that just sort of slotted in and fixed itself really firmly in place as opposed to being a wheel that goes in a hole. I didn't actually realise until late on that the tail was supposed to be painted in red. So ideally I would have probably masked that off and sprayed it red, but I'd already started on the transfers by this stage, so it just seemed like a, like a fool's errand. So I've hand painted that in red, which probably needs another coat. Obviously we're still missing quite a lot of the transfers. We've got the numbers here, we've got the identification bars here. And there are a few other things that we need to put on it, but it's getting there. Hopefully it'll be, I'm going to have another pop at it, you know, doing a few bits and bobs while I'm waiting for things to dry over the next couple of days. So hopefully in a couple of days it'll be finished. So I, I think you agree, it's quite a nice looking plane. If you haven't actually seen one of these, it's kind of uh, almost reminiscent of, well, I think it looks a bit like an ME109, to be honest with you, but a few people have said it looks like a few other planes. Uh, and I think it's a really pretty one. And I think it looks really cool in the um, silver. Oh, shit. Ah, there he may. Butter, butter fingers. 
yeah, so that was lucky. We nearly broke the prop. So, excuse me for swearing, by the way. Hope there was no children watching. So, there we go. That's where we are with this one. I'm going to have a little drink of sake now because I just my, my heart just jumped out my mouth. I'll be back in a couple of minutes with a, another update on another build that I've done. So, thanks for watching and thanks for tolerating my waffle. Uh, please like and subscribe and join me for my novice building model ride. Be seeing you.